Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will talk about the compound interest. Last time, I had a video that I upload about compound interest, wherein the interest is compounded annually. And this time, uh, ito na yung kasi ng mga examples na didiscuss natin wherein uh, merong mga specific number of times na i-compound para magkakaroon ng interest yung inyong principal o yung inyong present value. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here the first formula wherein this first formula na meron tayo is the formula for the maturity or the future value. The formula is that we have F is equal to P times the quantity of 1 plus R over M raised to MT. And then we're in, yung P natin, it stands for the principal or the present value. Okay, in other words, um, ito yung puhunan or starting money. Yung F natin, that is the maturity or the future value. In other words, ito yung future value ng pera mo when you added uh, when you added the principal and the compound interest. R is the nominal rate. Your T is the term in years. M is the frequency of conversion. Yung term in years natin, kung ilang taon tatagal yung inyong loan o yung inyong yung kinocompute natin. And another thing, about this ay itong ano natin yung M is the frequency of conversion. So for example, sa isang taon, ilang beses magkakaroon ng interest or compounded yung yung mismong principal natin. And as for this formula, we have I sub C is equal to F minus P. Wherein, this is the formula for the compound interest. Wherein, your F here is the future value. Your P is the principal or the present value. And now, ito yung conversion period natin o yung frequency of conversion sa isang taon. We have here annually. Ang ibig sabihin annually natin that is compounded once lang sa isang taon. So, your M here is equal to 1. Next, semi-annually or semi-annually. Ibig sabihin nito, twice na compounded yung inyong pera. So, your M here is equal to Next, we have the quarterly. Ibig sabihin nito quarterly four times or every three months. So, ibig sabihin nito, your M here is equal to four. And lastly, monthly. Monthly, we have 12 months. Ibig sabihin, your M is equal to 12. May mag, ito yung mga, ano, asikat na, ano, uh, sikat na conversion period when it comes to compound interest. Now, next naman natin gagawin is to solve problems wherein we will try to solve for the maturity value, maturity value, principal, o kaya yung mismo interest. Let's start with item number one. In item number one, we have here, Robert puts 100,000 in a savings account, paying 8% annual interest compounded monthly. At this rate, how much money will be in the account after 4 years? So let me uh, explain this problem. Meron siyang 100,000. And then, yung 100,000 natin, that is your P. So we have, we have to put here 100,000 pesos. 100,000 pesos. Next, in the savings account, pay 8%. Ito, 8% natin is the nominal rate, which is your R. Since 8% to, we will convert this into decimal form. And the decimal form or the decimal equivalence of 8% is 0 0.08. Annual interest compounded monthly. Monthly, eh, ibig sabihin, your M is equal to 12. At this rate, how much money will be in the account? after 4 years. Yung 4 years natin, this is the number of terms in years. So your T is equal to 4. Ang tanong dito, at this rate, how much money will be in that account after 4 years? How much money 
So, tinatanong dito ay yung ating future value in which yung F ang hinahanap natin. Therefore, we will use this formula. F is equal to P times 1 plus R over M times MT. By the way guys, ano, maraming klase ng formula. And then, may, may dalawa tayong formula na pwede gamitin dito. Tapos, ang magiging problema pa dito, when you are using a different preference or references, yung ibang, let, yung iba, yung ibang letters na ginagamit nila dito. Pero, as long as nakukuha nyo yung concept, you can easily grasp or use the different formulas. At kahit anong letters pa yan. So, to compute this, for the future value, it does at this rate, how much money will be in the account after 4 years. So, we will substitute the values here para makuha natin yung future value. You have here your F is equal to your principal, which is 100,000. Times Y. Laya ko na konti. Plus your rate, which is 0 0.08 over your M, which is compounded monthly, that is 12, raised to your M, which is 12, times T, which is 4. So this will be the exponent here is 12 times 4. Now, um, sa mga may scientific calculator, you can directly uh, input these values sa inyong scientific calculator. But in general, I will teach you how to solve this step by step kasi meron pa rin mga bata na they are using um, their mobile phones or installed application sa kanilang scientific calculator. So to be in, ge in general, we will compute this step by step. So the first step you need to do here is to simplify first uh, your exponent here outside and this decimal. So what will happen is that we will copy this. F is equal to 100,000 pesos times 1. And then to calculate the value of this, pwede mong gawin dito, check natin eh, is that you will do 0 0.08 divided by 12. And that will give you the answer of, medyo mahabi yung sagot dito. So laki natin ngayon, uh, pwede mo siyang gawin, um, Zero point zero eight divided by twelve is equal to. Puri mo sabut natin yan. That is one plus zero point zero zero six. May bar siya. So lagi natin dito na another six. Raise to twelve times four. Lagi natin dito twelve times four, and that will be forty eight. So what will happen here after natin makuha to? is that we will add 1 and this number, and this decimal. So that will be 1.0066. Okay? So, F is equal to 100,000. 1.066 raised to 48. So what will happen is before you multiply 100,000 by 1.066, you need to raise this by, ito muna, simplify natin by, four, uh, by the power of 48. So what will happen is that 1.066, ah, 0, 0 pala ito, may 0, pakulang tayo ng 0. 0, 6, 6, raise to the power of 48. And the answer is 1.37. So, pag nakuha niyo yun, F is equal to 100,000 times 1.37 Saan nila siya pwede multiply sa 100,000? Times, answer, times 100,000. And the answer here is 
137,000. Ito yung future value natin. The answer here is 137,000 pesos. 129. And since centavos tayo, two decimal places to, 0.99 pesos. Ito ngayon yung future value natin for problem number. Now let's have item number two. Sabi dito, find the maturity value and interest. Dalawa pinapanap sa atin. We need to find the maturity value and the interest. If 10,000 pesos is deposited in a bank at 3% rate, compounded monthly for 4 years. So, given this problem, your principal here is 10,000 pesos. And then your uh, rate is equal to 3% or 0 0.03 in decimal. Your M is the number of conversion, a uh, frequency of conversion per year. This is 12 because it's compounded monthly. And then your T, e, our time, is 4 years. So using the formula, we will directly substitute the values. F is equal to P. F is equal to P, which is your P is 10,000 pesos. Times 1 plus your R, which is 0 0.03 over M, which is equal to 12 raise 2, m times t, which is 12 times 4. Okay, so alam naman natin that this is 48, so we will erase this and make it 48. Okay? Now, ang gabi naman natin ngayon sa part natin is that kanina nag-manual calculation tayo and gabi naman natin ngayon is to uh, use the scientific calculator. So in your scientific calculator, you can directly input this full values. What I'm going to do is to uh, press 10,000 times, meron yung parenthesis, tapos uh, input nyo lang yung 1 plus, plus, and then yung fraction natin na 0 0.03 over 12. Okay, wait lang. Uh, Times 1 plus 0 0.03 over 12. And then erase natin siya by 48. So what will happen is that, so meron tayong 3, uh, ito yung maging sagot niya. So the correct answer here is that your future value is equal to 11,000 pesos 11,273 pesos 0.28 Okay, ito yung ating future value Mapansin nyo, tumubo na siya after 4 years and kapag compounded monthly at 3% interest rate So this is the future value and then after this, we are asked to find the interest. Using the formula, I sub C is equal to F minus P, which is your F is the future value. Nagin natin dito. I sub C is equal to 11,000 pesos, 273.28 minus your 10,000 pesos as your principal. Yung principal natin ay 10,000. And then, subtracting this using calculator, you have I sub C or your compound interest is equal to 1,273.28 pesos. And 28 centavos. So, ito na mismo yung sagot natin, guys. As you can see, um, medyo lang mo lang siya mahirap because we have this kind of formula which is so anything and daming variables may hirap ang substitute but with the use of your comprehension and your scientific calculator or your simple calculator app you can easily solve compound interest problems so again guys if you have any question and or any topic that you want me to discuss feel free to comment down below kung anong topic yung gusto nyo and if you want to watch the videos na ginawa ko about simple interest and compound interest Feel free 
to check our description box para mapanood nito. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Goyne. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!